Yeah, welcome back to the channel. Today I got this LA-115 there, picked up about a month ago. This motor seized up in it. As you can see there, the motor here. Can't turn it. Let's see what's wrong with that motor. I think I had like three or four of these come to my shop this month. All the same thing. I checked the oil and below about that much. Yeah, and that's just enough to make the motor heat up and seize up and break the connecting rod in her. So let's take a look. Back up here. I'm gonna take the motor out of here. And of course, there's no battery in this, so you have to disconnect the negative post of the battery. So this is 7 16 uh, wrench here. If the whole, see that, the whole stud's turning, so I'm gonna have to I grind it off. Uh, a 7 16 wrench, a little smaller, so it fits behind here. And take another one there. Unplug this. We need a 5 16 socket to loosen off this bolt here from my throttle cable. Alright, I'll take this bottom pulley off here. 16 millimeter socket. Uh, there's four bolts here to hold the motor. I don't think this oil's never been changed. Oh yeah. that I'll chew it up here a little bit but that's still good that's a governor but yeah this is totally totally screwed it's part of the connecting rod wow <laughs> I can take that out You got your decompression bump on your camshaft. I'm gonna take the head off here. Take the intake manifold. I'm gonna take the exhaust off here. You can take your ass bolt here for your head. Just shaved it half off there, I need a new one. right there so this thing's junk now I want my junk pile and I found a good case yeah. I'm gonna clean this all up here now 
I'm gonna clean her up there. It took about an hour and a half. Got my spare crank and piston here and connecting rod. Looks in good shape here and here. Put this crank in this one. There's a cap right here. I'll put a small screwdriver. Put it right through here. Let's hit it with a hammer here. It came out. Get that out. It should slide this way a little bit. This should pop off. There you go. Now there's a uh, key right here. Take a screwdriver here. Just put it right there and just tap it here with a, with a hammer. It'll come out. There you go, this should come out now. There you go. So before I put this on here, I'm gonna put a little tiny uh, lube on here. Right, slide it on there. So these are chamfered, see? The chamfer goes on the inside like this. I'll put the key back in here. It's here. Line up the keyway. Yep, that's good. Put a little assembly loop there a little bit. PTO side goes on this side here. That's in. Don't forget the plug here. So I'm gonna set these uh, piston rings here in my piston here. Just PTO sides. It's gonna be facing down. So this is the top. So the two O-ring expanders, which is about as there's one right there and the one right there. So I put them around there. And the uh, the expander ring, the middle one. I can't really find it. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. So the ring number one, I'm going to put it right there. And ring, piston ring number two, I'm going to put it roughly around here. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil here on my piston. So i got a ring compressor here from Hastings, part number here. Um, so I'll put the cylinder here like that. Put that on the outside. Expand a little bit more. There you go. Press that down. I'm just gonna crank it down. You have to use a hammer. Just tap it down. There you go. So I'm gonna put some of We'll assembly move here. All right, so we'll put this in here. I don't want to put anything there. All right, this uh, cap on here with a connecting rod. And clean the bolts here. I'm going to put a little a bit of a lock tight on the bolts. So I'm going to turn my 
engine here. A little notch here. Put my cam here. Get this off of eBay. I used these before. I'll put a link below in the comments where I got it. I put my lifters in. I already cleaned them. A little semi lube again. Push them all the way in. Grab your can. Line, put in the hole in there. And line up those two dots. The two dots right here. Governor. Governor here. Inspect it. Make sure it works. Keep working. And these here, make sure these are not broken or. Yeah, oh, they look good. Slightly over to this side of the bolt, just right, right here, right there. That's the match, just right here. Inspect that too, make sure this is good. And when the engine blows, it takes this out too. So the governor goes on that, and right there. So I already cleaned this, but uh, I'm gonna blow it off with compressed air again. I'm gonna take this off here too. Fuel pump. Make sure that's clean. Alright, I'm gonna put a little dab on the gasket maker here. This one put a little tiny bit so it holds the gasket in place. This uh, gasket maker is made by Loctite and it, uh, it doesn't harden, it stays flexible. Real good stuff. All right. And it sticks on there good. Now put a little lube here. Boom, she's in. Stick these in here. Just cross pattern. Too short. I'm gonna torque these to 160. Okay. This is your pump drive right here. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just like this. So this has gotta go in that, gro that groove down there. We'll go back and forth. Now she snapped right in there. And put your pump back in. And then you can put this back on. So we'll clean the head here. Right, I'll put my two alignment pins in here. This is the head gasket, part number, John Deere. The same as a 21 horse. It only goes one way, you can't put it that way. It's just, it just goes right there on the alignment pins. And before I put that on there, I forgot to clean the gasket off here. Again here. Yep, bolts in. So you start at the bottom, right in the middle here. So I'm gonna do it in three sequence. 200 inch pounds, so I'm gonna go to 60. One, two, three down here. 
four over here, five here. Six up here, and seven down the bottom here, and then in the middle here. This exhaust is on this side here, so you gotta put that the steel rod right down to the lifter down there. If you can see that or not, but I'm gonna put that way on the lifter at the bottom right there. And the aluminum one is for your intake. So yeah, have to put these on. You can back this off, but I usually put my screwdriver right here at the edge here and press down on the valve. And just like over here and tractor. Fly we on here. Line up the keyway. Back off the coil here and torque it down later. Touches the two part of the coil here. I'm gonna put my uh, business card here. Press it forward a little bit. Good. So the intake valve, I turn the motor three or four times. So get it on the compression stroke. The magnets right over the coil and the valves are loose here. So intake should be three to five thou, exhaust five to seven. So I got a four thou there, so I can put that in there and like too easy. So turn it in a little bit, turn it up. A little bit more. Yeah, it's perfect. There's a slight drag right there. Walker there. Double check, make sure it didn't move. Just gonna crack it open a little bit. Exhaust, something like a six thou in here, and then it's too loose. Just a little drag. Yep, looks good. I'm just in the motor. Compression right there. Let me check. Yep. Yeah, that looks good. Well, yeah, I got a gasket, but if you don't have a gasket, you can use silicone. Put the carburetor on. This is clean, rubber gaskets look clean, everything clean inside. All right, put the cable out of the way here, and put the spring in a little hole here. And then stick this in here. Slide that right here. And it goes up here. In here, I'm just gonna put the throttle cable in here. There's, I can feel the notch on the choke, so I'm just gonna raise it up. So I'm just touching, 
See if I bring it all the way down, it goes down. Yep. Yep. I'll put the exhaust here. Gasket's still good. Let's just leave it slack a little bit so I can put the bolts in the motor here. I'll put the pulley here. The belt's tight around the pulley. You see, I put the bolts in the motor already. I'm tightening them up here. I give these bolts a good tight here. Spark. I'm going to put a new spark plug in here. Gap at the 30 thou. It's supposed to torque it to 180 inch pounds. I'll just snug it right there and go a little bit more. That's good enough for me. Alright, I'm going to plug this up here. Regulator here. Okay, put that black wire on this regulator. The brown wire you can hook up back here. Hard to get it. Black wire. Put that in. If you don't, it won't start. Yeah, it's just gonna stick this on here. Hook up the fuel line here to the carburetor. The pulse line here is supposed to be. Yeah, I'm slapping on the old filter here. take the spark plug out here because I want to build up uh, oil pressure and uh, pump uh, fuel in the uh, carburetor. Okay. All right, uh, I'll put the spark plug in, see if it'll start, show calling. right up sounded really good if you like this video press thumbs up below subscribe to my channel thank you for watching